Hey, everybody. It's Flag here. Oh. <laughs> Bounce into the wall. Hey, everybody. Flag here. Welcome back to another episode of Super Mario Sunshine. In the last episode, we had started off in Delfino Plaza. And uh, we had unlocked Bianco Hills. And uh, this episode, we are going to uh, continue on in uh, Bianca Hill, so let's uh, jump on in. So, uh, we have episode two, Down with PD Piranha. I'll, I'll be back in one second. I need to do something real quick. All right, and I'm back. So let's get started in uh, this. So our mission is to climb to the top of the windmill and uh, confront PD Piranha. So let's get going in here. So a really useful movement mechanic is to uh, um, press B when uh, moving. Or, uh, to get kind of that dive jump. As, um, you move, a uh, Oh, God. <laughs> a lot of goo. You do this spin jump technique. Oh, there's also another movement mechanic that I forgot as you can uh, by pressing the uh, R button and uh, A simultaneously you kind of shoot a big spurt of air oh so you could use the hover nozzle over this or you could climb along these type ropes very nifty uh, so, is that, it's actually something really funny with this mission, is you can actually, the first mission in this game is actually obsolete. You don't really need to do it. Jeez, that was really close hitting me. But you, you don't need to actually do anything with it. As you could actually, PD Piranha's already here. Uh, during the first mission So if you wanted to you could just uh, uh, Skip it Right here we have this water refueling station, I guess Jeez. Oh no So you're gonna come to learn really quick that I'm really bad at the movement in this game. I thought it was morbid. Um, I'm very, very, very bad at the movement in this game. Uh, my brother and sister were always a lot better at it. But I, I still know my way around a GameCube controller. Go. Yep. Yep, you could make sure. <laughs> oh, there's also another one thing with this. These guys uh, work as makeshift trampolines. Fun fact of the day. So what you're gonna want to do here is hop aboard this uh, little windmill. Don't know why there's platforms on the windmill, but I'll take it. And um, just ride it on up. And here he is. The shine sprite. So, you just have to get within the loading zone. And, uh. Now we're in the cutscene. So, apparently, Mario's volume is. Or, uh, Mario's weight is too much for the platform, and it cracks beneath him. Mario, you fatty. 
So here, welcome to uh, kind of the first boss. I don't know. I wouldn't really say there's bosses in this game, but there's a uh, there's people like PD Piranha. So how you're gonna want to beat him is by not letting him throw up. So if you get too close to him, he will start to uh, he'll swing his head around. So what you're gonna oh god! So what you're gonna want to do is get close to him as he's about to throw up and fill him with water. And then round pound his belly from this he smacks his face gets really mad at himself so uh, it's pretty basic despite I'm still really bad at it so uh, you know magical video game numbers you know, you have to do it three times. Oh, okay. You jerk. And, uh... That should be it now for doing that oh right here that's a mechanic I could probably talk about uh, water bottles sometimes the goop and whatnot and the enemies can drop them up die so here's a uh, PD piranha already finished and we have our third shine Um, we'll, we'll save and continue. And, uh, we just do these missions. Uh, but after three missions, you then unlock that over there. So, why not take a look over there? So, by using this super cool, super easy, uh, neat strat, we will now see that uh, we have another one of these monsters. So this time the goop is in black. So, uh, same mechanic as before. Oops. Um, except after beating it a couple of times, or uh, doing that a couple of times, he then uh, has three more times you need to hit him. Oh! I can't believe I actually got that guy. And, uh... We then unlock over here. And over here is another mission. So, if we uh, go like this, we will unlock another place. But before that, if you come in here, you have these two people. Welcome, welcome. I suppose you're in here for that. Hmm, yes, very good. That means I will require 10 blue coins from you. What? What's that? What's this? Hmm, not even 10 coins? Then you get nothing. I can't drop my prices that low. That would be a madness. You'll have to come back again, I'm afraid. See you later. So, uh, if you get 10 uh, blue coins, you go into there and uh, talk to them and they'll give you a shine sprite because uh, they're also hoarding some of the stuff. So, uh, I think the police should be after them. But, by coming in here we get Rico Harbor. So, um, I'm not really gonna do anything too much in order and whatnot. 
Um... I think just kind of going with the flow. When the flow says go, is good. So this is our uh, second place as uh, we were just getting used to uh, the uh, oh the first uh, area. We now have a second one. So with these flip gates, you can uh, kind of you can flip them up and uh, allow you to go. Oh, don't switch how you flip gates on me. Using. So, we have that. Oh. And then we have a uh, massive oil leak over here to the right. More like a goob leak. Goob leak. Goo leak. Right here, probably not gonna be able to see it, but there's actually a uh, vent or a sewer pipe, sewage drain. So by coming over here, can't do that. Uh, believe right, right here. Oh, that's mean. Uh, I didn't know it was not gonna be unlocked in the first mission. So, you're gonna wanna come right back over here and jump the gun, or the vent, more like. So, we're gonna need to find an alternate way up there. Uh, can we, no, we can't. We can't make that. So, we're gonna need to find an uh, alternate way up. Please, get out of here. So, um, by coming on to, oh, come on, that's not fair. So, by going up here, we have that platform up there that we can get on. Oh, okay. Ooh, okay. Oh, that was that could have been really bad. Make it. Oh, we're not gonna make it. From what I know, this this is how I always got up. Oh, we can also see this right here. So, okay, I mean, I'm gonna need to hit this. Whew. This is how I always got up here. So now by breaking... Oh, what? Are you kidding me? The, what? That's bullcrap. That's... No, you can't do that. I meant to ground pound the box, not the th All right, uh, I'm gonna cut the camera, or cut the footage, and I'll be back once I'm back up there. So, now I'm back up here, and I'm going to go on top of this box, and do <laughs> smush that. So, what you're gonna actually wanna do is squish that and then pull it. And then we have, uh, well, we have, we have Gooper Blooper. Sort of like PD Piranha, but not really. All right. So what we're going to want to do is clean his face. So you're going to want to pull on a uh, the arms to kind of get them gone and uh, wait for them to, to attack and then uh, 
continue pulling as these limbs are what he attacked with? Oh god. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm not very good at this. So, uh, coins replenish your life as, uh, or your hit points. Yeah, no, life, that says life. I'm not stupid. Let's get him to attack. Oh, never mind. He's not gonna attack. He's a sissy. So, once you do that, he then flattens out, but he. Reglo regrows his limbs. And, uh... And, uh, now I believe they're even longer. Ooh. Uh, let me grab onto it! Come on, do it. Attack me. Oh, that's not fun. Oh, I did that. So, now I finally have that limb. I can pull it. And I believe, once you take out the two front ones, you can just kind of go for it. As pulling a nose sends you flying. And now we got the shine spread. So I should mention that <laughs> a lot of these episodes, uh, like so far, the, the first two episodes have been very slow. One shine each so far, or two shines each. And I'm already like 15 minutes in. Uh, episodes are going to be a lot faster than this. They're not going to be this painstakingly slow, as I'm kind of just showing around instead of going to objectives as much. So, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue this trend of showing off new areas as we have another area that we can actually go to at this point. Um, it's not a really big multi-level or anything like that. But, it's worth mentioning because it does have a shine at it. Right over here, if you manage to parkour your way... Uh, over to that warp pipe over there. That's actually a, that's actually a level. If you see way off in the distance, we kind of have the airstrip area that you can see in the distance. I believe that's the airstrip area. Oh, come on! That was close! Yeah, it's going to be very obvious how bad I am at the uh, platforming in this game very quickly. I did- <laughs> I'm not having fun with that. <sighs> okay, feeling confident with this one. Okay. There we go. So, we can now jump in this hole. Pipe. Hey, get, get in there. And we have Secret Zone 1, I believe. Where there's not that much to it. You kind of just have to slide down here. Um, as you can maneuver yourself through. Uh, the only thing is, is that... It's very tricky. All right. You can also be a sissy like me and use flood to uh, kind of soften the fall and whatnot. Yahee! 
um, to grab our fifth shine. <laughs> so, last episode when I deleted the file, this is about how far I got. Beating Secret Zone 1. And, uh, Secret Zone, or, uh, Rico Harbor in Bianco Hills. Up. Uh, so, in the next episode, we're gonna be checking out that little loop over there. And, uh, we'll go find out what that's all about. But that's in the next episode. Uh, not this one. So. Yeah, I'm trying to spin. See you guys uh, next episode.